And if you guys feel comfortable showing your face or having your name there, feel free to turn off your camera or change your name if you don't feel comfortable with that. Yeah, exactly. and before we start, um, for anyone who's watching this recording, so this recording will be uploaded to Sui's YouTube channel and um, any questions about committees or wanting to talk to board more will also happen tomorrow for um, students who couldn't make it to this GM today, um, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time to noon. So um, also if you guys have additional questions, we won't have any more like office hours for committee heads besides that, but you're always free to email them. You can find their emails on the Sweet UCLA um, website. If you just Google it, you'll find it and all of our emails will be there. And we'd be super happy to answer any questions you have. Um, it's just the best that we can do given the fact that everything has to be virtual this year. So yeah, I think we can get started. Isabel, do you wanna kick it off? Would I? Um, yeah, so hi everyone, I'm Isabel. I'm a fourth year computer engineering major and my pronouns are she, her, hers. And I'm also the president. Uh, hi, I'm Shravani. I'm the external vice president for this year. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm studying computer science. Super excited to see y'all. Hi, my name's Simran. I'm a third year computer engineering major, and this year I'm the co-internal vice president, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a fourth year computer science major. I'm the other co-IVP. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hi, I'm Spurthy. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a third year computer science major, and I'm the advocacy director. Sorry, I forgot what's muted. Hi everyone, I'm Allison. I'm a third year, also CS major, but I swear we have other majors in this club as well. And I'm the external director for Evening with Industry. Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a third year materials engineering major and I am the Evening with Industry internal director. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm a fourth year computer science and engineering major and I'm the historian and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hey everyone, I'm Christina. I'm a second year computer engineering major and my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm also this year's webmaster. Hey guys, my name's Christine. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a second year mechanical engineering student and I'm the outreach external director. Hey guys, I'm Hannah. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm a second year materials engineering major and I'm the outreach logistics director. Hi guys, my name is Jessica Chen. Um, I'm this year's publicity director and I'm a third year computational systems bio major and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hey everybody, my name's Morgan. I'm this year's mentorship director. My pronouns are she, her, hers and I am a second year studying computer science and engineering. Hey everyone, I'm Eunice. I am the recruitment and alumni relations director. I am a fourth year mechanical engineering major and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Yes, beautiful. So that's our board. So now we can, um, oh wait, is there still, oh, no, there's the slide still change, the slide change really messed with me. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No worries. I think it's Heidi. Are you doing okay, Heidi? Um, okay. Do you want to message us? And then I guess I'll go. Um, so my name is Jackie. My pronouns are she, her, hers and um, I'm a third year computational systems bio major, and this year I'm the student relations director. Hi everyone, my name is Rithika. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am this year's technical director and a third year computer science major. Hey guys, I'm Kelly. I'm a third year mechanical engineering major, and my pronouns are she, she, her, hers. Um, Heidi, I'm going to ask to unmute you. I don't know if that's going to help so that you can introduce yourself. That would help a lot. I'm sorry, I like, can't do these controls. Um, hi, I'm Heidi. I'm a third year Mechie major. I am this year's secretary and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Okay, I'm going to mute you. Beautiful. And now that we've actually done all the officer introductions, I'm so sorry for jumping the gun on that. Um, we can move into more about SWEET and what we do as an org. 
Um, so for those of you that don't know, SWE is a not-for-profit educational and service organization that empowers underrepresented groups to succeed and advance in the field of engineering. We welcome all majors and all genders, so really, as long as you care about advocacy and equity within engineering, this is the spot for you. Um, but within that scope, we do a lot of professional development, outreach, diversity and inclusion, mentorship, socials, and technical skills development. Next slide. Yeah, and so kind of a taste of our previous events. Um, unfortunately, we won't be getting the same photos as we did last year, but I think this gives a really good sense of who we are as an org and what we do. And I know for a fact that all of our virtual events will be just as good, if not better than last year. So you can see we have some events like Evening with Industry, the largest student-run networking event, or Queer Hacks, one of the first LGBTQIA hackathons in the nation. And it's really, we, we do so much, and it's really amazing to see. Um, so yeah, next slide. And so the only way that we can do all these amazing things and have all these amazing people in SWE is to have you all join. And so if you want to be a SWE UCLA gen general member that joins a community that supports you and all groups in STEM, you can get added to our mailing list and Facebook page and access all of our events, socials, and networking opportunities. Um, you can sign up via that tiny URL there. Once again, um, these slides will be posted, so don't worry about like really jumping the gun on that. You can just look at it later. And also just as a note, in order to retain your status, you have to attend at least three SWE events per quarter. But the great thing is this GM already counts for one. So you only have to attend two more this quarter, but please attend more, but only two. Um, but other than being a SWE general member, I'm getting so distracted by the Rivka Rivka chat. That <laughs> I'm so love, sorry, I'm just losing my mind. <laughs> I love the name twins, um, but I'm just, Okay, but also SWE UCLA is part of a national organization. Um, and so with that, you can become a national member. Granted, it costs money, but what's really cool is that you get discounts on certain SWE UCLA events, as well as access to exclusive resume banks and scholarships. Also, if you wanna become a committee member, which we'll talk more about in a bit, you're actually required to be a national SWE member, but you get so many amazing benefits. And if you look through the website, you'll really see everything that you can get out of it. And I highly recommend becoming a national member. But if you wanna be more than just a SWE general member or a SWE national member, we have a lot of opportunities for you to join and get more involved. And so there's SWE families as well as seven committees that we'll go more into right now. Okay, awesome, I get to start. So SWE families, this is, um, this is different from committees a little bit just because it's non-exclusive and um, it's kind of just a, a social like way to group you guys up and like meet people in like in a more tight knit environment just because SWE is like really big and we've definitely heard everyone's feedback about how difficult it can be to connect with someone when you're not on a committee. So this is just another way to meet some new people. Um, we're also going to have just some really great activities this year virtually and I hope that like especially for a lot of freshmen who are joining who haven't had the chance really to meet people in person because you're at home this would be a really great way for you to do events and still bond with people virtually um a lot of people have found a lot of i guess value by talking to different members of SWE, getting advice um, on professional development internships all that so it's just a really great way to meet new people um, and the application link is down there in that link. It's going to do, be due October 15th, but you are free to join SWE families throughout the year. It's just that the initial um, pairings for, for SWE families will be due for October 15th. So these are some really great things that SWE families did last year. So things included like mug painting, um, going to explore Westwood and LA together and a lot of just like really cute fun bonding moments but since this year we won't be able to do that um, I'm starting something called Sweet Families Bucket List so we currently have around I think 47 Sweet Family Heads that are super super excited to have people in their families and do cute little bonding moments with them and we're going to do something called a bucket list which means like um, you guys have all these ideas to do really fun events and you also get more points for doing it with other groups and meeting other people. So our kickoff for families will be on October 18th. So that's when you get your big family reveal and it'll also be open to people who aren't in families just to meet new people and have a really fun game night. So yeah, I would love to see everyone there. It's gonna be our first 
a fall event for the year. Okay, so um, <clears throat> first committee we're gonna talk about is the SWE Outreach Committee. And so the goal of the Outreach Committee is to bring STEM opportunities to elementary through high school students around LA to inspire the next generation of engineers. So this year, all of our events are gonna be completely virtual. So we're gonna have Wow That's Engineering Day, which is a day in which we traditionally invite over 100 Girl Scouts to campus for a day full of activities, speakers, workshops. And this year, we're gonna have it completely virtual. Um, we also have the Women in Engineering Stayover Program, which is an event for high school seniors who have been admitted to the UCLA School of Engineering that will hold in around April. And then we're also gonna have a high school mentorship program this year in which we're pairing high school students with current UCLA students to um, kind of help them with um, the college application process and really any like advice or mentorship that they want. Yeah, um, so we need your help with planning events and activities for girls of a wide age range, especially during like COVID-19. We really like need you guys' new ideas and ways to move our events online. And also we need to help with spreading passion and support for diversifying STEM fields and reaching out to underrepresented minorities in the STEM department. Um, so our application link is listed here um, and it's due next week at 11, this, sorry, next week on Thursday at 11.59 p.m. And then we'll have interviews the following weekend. Yay, now we're gonna talk about Evening with Industry. Um, so hi everyone, my name is Allison and I'm the external director for Evening with Industry. Um, so basically Evening with Industry or EWI is one of the campus's largest student run networking events. And this year is actually gonna be our 44th year hosting this event. Um, so we've done it forever. It's like one of Swede's flagship events. And this year is also gonna be the first time that it's all gonna be virtual. So we'll go into that a little bit later, but. Pre-COVID, basically it was a three-part event where we would have networking over appetizers, um, a three-course meal, so like super fancy food, and you get to sit down with maybe like five or six other students and some company reps that, of a company that you're interested in, and then afterwards there's a private career fair. So EWI in general, not only to provide like actual recruitment and official recruitment opportunities um, for internships or full-time and also gave students a really good opportunity just to like chat with recruiters and get to know them and the companies more. Um, so like one year at dinner, we talked about like my recruiter's dog's Instagram or something like that. So it's like super casual. You get to know them as people um, and also just learn about different companies. Um, yeah. And Annie, do you want to talk about yeah, the details? So this year, yeah, this year we're going virtual. We're going to be doing it on this really cool platform called Gatherly. Um, and in addition, we're starting to do um, professional development workshops. Um, so these are going to include resume workshops, interview workshops, bringing in industry uh, people to talk about what they do in the workplace. Just really cool, more industry facing kind of workshops. Um, and we need you guys to join our committee to help us plan all these events, um, helping us plan can include design and media to help us pub publicize everything as well as dealing with logistics of these virtual events. I'm really looking forward to it. I really enjoyed being involved with Evening with Industry because I um, have felt so much uh, like a, I, I love helping people get their first steps into their career. So I um, hope you guys can apply through these tiny URLs. Yeah, so the application link is, oh, Sorry, can you go back a little, Heidi? Sorry, one more last thing. Um, application link is there. It's due on October 13th, which is this coming Tuesday. And also for descriptions for our committee roles, um, it's on that second tiny URL. So there are some tasks that will be shared among the committee, but there are also some role specific tasks. Um, and then we will be conducting interviews next Thursday and Friday. So it is a pretty quick turnaround time and we understand that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to come to me and Annie afterwards or tomorrow or shoot us an email um, and we'd love to help out. And for these links, we will be sending out these slides, I believe. Can someone confirm that? Yes, yeah, okay. We'll so they're sending out the slides um, and also all the application links in our newsletter. So once again, sign up to join our newsletter, but we'll also be posting all of this in the Facebook event as well. Yes, and also Christina said they're also on the SWE UCLA website. So you can also go there to find them. Thank you guys. Hello again, everyone. Um, my name is Ruthie. I'm the Advocacy Director, and the goal of the Advocacy Committee is to shift 
for uh, to advocate for a shift in mindset regarding STEM diversity within the UCLA community and beyond. And um, we try to promote and inspire engineers for underrepresented groups to be empowered and break barriers within their field. A couple of events that we sort of target towards like a UCLA audience are I Look Like an Engineer, Mental Health Awareness Week, Food for Thought, and Engineers for Professional Inclusion and Equity. Um, and some of the events that are sort of outside of um, like the UCLA community is lobbying, and that's an initiative that is led by both me and our EVP Sharvani, um, where we get involved politically and reach out to representatives in Sacramento and Washington, D.C. to advocate for issues and bills that we're really passionate about. Um, so if this seems interesting to you, I highly encourage you to apply. Um, the application is linked here, and it's due on Thursday, week two, I believe, at midnight, um, and interviews will be held week three, and then the committee will meet for the first time week four. Hi, everyone. I'm technical director, and as part of technical committee, the one flagship event that we do, which was started last year, um, thanks to our um, Queer Hacks committee from last year, is Queer Hacks, <laughs> uh, which is um, a hackathon to promote LGBTQ plus diversity and inclusion in tech to um, show more representation and raise awareness for the queer, non-binary, and trans community in STEM. Um, it will be occurring virtually on the weekend of January 23rd and 24th. And you should go follow us at Queer Hacks on both Instagram and, and Twitter. Our wonderful design person um, really just like popped off with, with the designs. And, um, um, the other thing that we do in addition to planning that hackathon is we host technical workshops just throughout the year. So that includes workshops about website and app development for technical interview preparation, um, collaboration with um, other engineering organizations on campus to teach stuff like CAD design and do biotech challenges with um, the Biomedical Engineering Society. Um, our, our first like workshop series actually starts um, next Tuesday on October 13th. So if you'd want to join then and like ask me more questions before the application due date, that'd be nice. And our application for the tech committee will be due um, next Wednesday, the 14th by 11.59 p.m. And then I'll contact people for interviews um, for on the Friday and Saturday after. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, I'm Maddie, the co-IVP. So Simran and I this year will be leading the Internal Affairs Committee. Uh, basically the goal of this committee is to enhance the personal relationships within SWE, develop uh, leadership skills and event planning and contribute to our growing community of women empowerment. Uh, so yeah, we basically focus on events geared towards facilitating a tighter knit community within the committees, um, as well as like general events that don't necessarily fall under any of the other committees. Yeah, so some events that we had um, in the previous years included Dinner with the Professors, LinkedIn, work LinkedIn Headshots, and we also host intercommittee socials. So uh, last year we had yoga socials, paint night, uh, gingerbread uh, making, gingerbread house making competitions and stuff. Um, but mainly this year, we will be focusing on virtual events to do with intercommittee social. So game nights, movie nights, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so join our committee. Um, we will talk more about that in the breakout rooms or in the Zoom links later. But yeah, so this is the Internal Affairs Committee. Hey everybody, I'm Morgan. I'm super excited to be the mentorship director. So the goal of our committee is to just work with either industry mentors, students, and other student organizations to provide guidance to our undergraduate engineers. And this takes so many different forms. Um, we do run a lot of mentorship programs and we also do um, events. So I see a lot of familiar faces from our summer mentorship program. So it's super, super awesome. I'm really excited that you're all here and interested in learning about SWE even more. So in that program, we contacted incoming students and paired them with current students who were their mentors and we also threw some socials for them to get to know each other. We have a really exciting program called the Industry Professional Mentorship Program coming up where if you sign up, we'll connect you with a 
industry professional. So if you're, let's say, a bioengineer, then we can connect you with someone working in a field that you're interested in. I'm really, really excited about that. We also have so many other mentorship programs that we're working on putting together. And we also throw a variety of networking panels and other social events. But most importantly, your own ideas. You know, this is going to be a very, very unique year. So if there's something that you would like to see, please let me know and I would be happy to make that happen. So on the application link is on the slide. It's due next Thursday. I'll contact people for interviews on the Monday after that, and then we'll have our committee by the end of week three. So um, please feel free to come talk to me in the breakout rooms after seven. I'd love to answer your questions and get to meet you. Hey guys, I'm the Dev Team PM this year, and I'll just kind of go over exactly what Dev team at SWE UCLA does. So our goals are to develop and learn web development skills with JavaScript and HTML for the committee members and also design and complete some really cool web projects and meet some super talented uh, like CS people. And so the technical projects that we're currently working on right now is finishing developing an evening with industry and member portals for the SWE UCLA website. So what this means is it's a portal that members can sign up for to see upcoming events as well as to see, uh, as well as to log which events they've attended. Um, and then the second project that we're working on is redesigning the current SWE UCLA website. So uh, we would like to um, just kind of go redo almost everything in terms of like user flow as well as general aesthetics for the SWE website. And right now we are currently taking applications for this project. And definitely it's very beginner friendly. And on top of that, if you're interested at all in web development, I would highly encourage you to apply. And, on, and uh, additionally, you can have the great opportunity of seeing something that you design out and immediately be able to see like what it looks like um, and have that kind of impact on the rest of SWE UCLA. So the application is due Thursday the 15th and I'm very excited to meet you guys later if any of you are interested in web development. Hi everyone, my name is Manan. I'm the representative for Grad SWE, which is a graduate section of uh, Society of Women Engineers. So I'm actually a grad student. If there are any grad students out there also, high five. Um, we are also a thing, you know, we have events that are just, that are geared towards grad students that follow along the general themes of SWE, so professional development, mentoring and, and outreach, so social and community building, um, and it's a lot of fun. And one thing that we really love to do is our mentorship program with all of you, the undergraduates of SWE. So Morgan, I'm looking at you, the mentorship committee, Eunice, we've worked with in the past. It's been a lot of fun to collaborate with you guys. Um, and host some fun events uh, to teach you or to, to educate you about what grad school is. And we also have a mentorship program where we pair graduate students with undergrads um, that follow along, um, that's focused on research and academic, academia. So you can follow, we have our separate Facebook and email and website. It's all on there if you wanna follow up with us um, and hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. Okay, sorry, I had trouble finding the unmute. So there was a question in the chat, uh, can you attend any event that any committee puts on? And the answer is yes. And the answer is we have a lot already before y'all even joined. Um, so I just wanna highlight a couple. So tomorrow we have voting 101. You may or may not be aware, there's an election coming up. It's kind of a big one, kind of an important one. Um, and so tomorrow, Spritzy and Layla and a couple other wonderful people will go through exactly how to register to vote, as well as some of the California propositions, which is super important because not only do you need to register to vote, you need to have some voter literacy and make sure you know who you're voting for. Other than that, we have advocating for yourself. It's all about self-care, watching TED Talks, taking care of yourself, it's really beautiful. Technical interview practice, a resume workshop, interview workshops, what it like in the workplace, really just anything and everything. And we have so many more on the way. So yeah, take note of all of those. Most of these are Facebook events, and if they're not, they will be very soon. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that and sign up for our newsletter for any other upcoming events. 
So why should you come to SWE events? Uh, to stay active as a SWE member is really the first logistical one uh, to remind you, you need to go to three events a quarter. This already counts as one, so you need to go to two more, but also because like they're really awesome and cool and fun and you should no matter what, because I say so. But also they're great and amazing and cool. <laughs> And yeah, and so the way to stay connected to all of this and keep updated on all this is join our weekly newsletter. Um, if you sign up to be a general member, you should already be added, but also you can just sign up directly at that tiny URL. And then of course you can contact Heidi at the email to uh, tell her about any problems with emails. But yeah. And of course, follow us on all the social media things. We have a link tree that really links to everything that we have, but some highlights are the Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. But yes. Um, so yeah, so oh, Jackie, go. I'm so no, sorry. Go. I've been talking too much. I hate it. Go. Oh, okay. So um, that concludes the portion of our presentation. So I'm gonna stop.